Hey guys, it's Phils here coming at you with a Crunker.io educational video. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over my top 10 tips to help you dominate at Crunker. Um, so this video is really intended for two types of people. The first is gonna be people who are like new to the FPS genre in general. Maybe this is like your very first like online game. And the second is gonna be people who are coming from different games. So maybe you're coming from Apex Legends or Counter-Strike and you just wanna learn the ropes of Crunker.io. So let's just jump right into it. Um, the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna to go into your settings and adjust the resolution slider uh, up here. So you're gonna to wanna to lower the resolution slider down until the point where you're getting like very smooth frame rates. Um, I have a very fast computer, but for me, 0.9 um, seems to work really well. Crunker.io does not have an FPS counter yet, so you just have to experiment and find what works for you. Um, even if you're playing in class on, let's say, like a Google Chromebook, um, you should be able to get really high frame rates um, despite having underpowered hardware. So the other video setting that you want to have a look at is going to be the FOV, which is the field of view. Um, for me personally, I feel like FOV of 100 gives me a good balance of being able to see enemies from far away and also being able to have that map awareness. Um, so just experiment, find out what works. Um, so after you've established your video settings, um, you're going to want to make sure that you're playing on an optimal mouse sensitivity. Um, my mouse, uh, Zowie S2, uh, is 800 DPI. I play it with a general sensitivity of 0.5 and an aim sensitivity of 0.7. I feel like this gives me that one-to-one -one, um, connection between my general sensitivity and my ADS. Not exactly sure how that works. Um, General rule of thumb is you want to kind of uh, be cognizant of your 360 distance. So that's the distance it takes on the mouse pad for your player model to turn in a 360 degree um, circle. Um, for me, I think that's about eight inches. Uh, if you're a Counter-Strike player, you're going to have a much um, longer 360 distance. Um, if you're a beginner, most likely your sensitivity is going to be too high and you're going to want to try to lower it. Um, so I think that anywhere between like a, a five or six inch to almost like a 20 inch um, 360 distance is, is adequate uh, for Crunker.io. You just really have to find what suits you. The other thing that you can do is you can actually even convert your sensitivity um, from a different game to Crunker.io by using a tool like mouse-sensitivity.com, which actually supports Crunker.io. If you need help doing that, um, you can actually drop your uh, game, your DPI, and your sensitivity uh, in the comments below, and I can help you convert your sensitivity to Crunker.io sensitivity. So after you learn um, the sensitivity and you learn how to adjust your video settings, you're going to want to learn each class. Um, so these are the classes in the game. Really, like half of them are good, half of them are not so good. Not important. More important thing is to try out um, the variety of classes. For example, like if there are a lot of hunters in the game, I might switch to uh, the, the detective because the revolver can like one shot headshot uh, the sniper. So that's like pretty powerful. Um, so that's why you kind of want to experiment and try out all the classes and learn what counters which classes. So what I'll do is I'll aim towards a wall. I'll do a full auto spray. You can see the spray pattern. Now I'm going to look at the same wall. I'm going to aim down sights. Now just look how different the, the spray pattern was. So general rule of thumb is that anytime uh, you're ADS in this game, you're gonna be super, super accurate. Um, so you wanna make sure that, that you ADS. The other thing uh, that you wanna learn how to practice is how to uh, control like recoil. So if I'm looking at the wall again, you can see how like the spray pattern goes like up. So what I wanna do is I wanna gradually like pull down on the mouse like, ever so slightly. Um, to help control the recoil. Um, the recoil is not hard to control in this game. If you're coming from a game like, say, like PUBG on PC, um, the recoil in that game is like very hard to control, and Counter-Strike is actually like also quite hard to control in my opinion. Uh, this game is like not hard to control the recoil at all, uh, so you could easily dominate from like far range like while spraying. You don't really need to like burst fire in this game. Next I'm going to show you some like very basic movement techniques. So the first is like bunny hopping. So you can see here like I can jump while like maintaining my forward momentum and that makes me harder to hit. Um, so it's not hard like strafe jumping. If you ever play Quake, you have to like, you know, strafe left and right, and turn around. You don't have to do that in this game. You just have to like time the hop so when you're landing, you're jumping. There's an easier way to do this too. You can just expand the jump. But I mean, it's easy enough just to like time the jump uh, to do the bunny hop. 
And after that, you want to learn how to slide in this game. So if you've played Apex Legends, um, you're already like one step ahead in terms of knowing how sliding works. But uh, unlike Apex Legends, you can't like slide out of a run. You have to only you can only slide when you're landing. So like jump, slide, that jump, slide. And the other, the cool thing that you can do in this game is you can actually like maintain momentum and gain speed by uh, jumping, sliding, and then just kind of doing like a little hop afterward. So just experiment with that, and um, you know practice 10 minutes and then until you feel like you have it down. So after you learn the basic movement techniques, you're going to want to learn how to use sound. Um, the first thing that you want to do is like wear headphones. Um, again, this is probably like the first FPS game for like a lot of people who are playing Krunker. Um, so you might be using the onboard uh, computer audio. Um, you're going to want to find a pair of headphones, even if it's just like a cheap pair of earbuds. And then, you know, first of all, sound in this game is not great. Um, if you're coming from a game like Counter-Strike, just don't expect too much uh, in terms of those positional 3D audio. But that being said, like, it's still super, super helpful. Uh, you can know where enemies are, if they're on your left or on your right, um, coming around corners, um, etc. You can even tell like what weapon the opponent is using. Like for example, I can tell if someone has a sniper rifle, then I might want to switch to the revolver to counter it. So like learn how to use audio, and then you'll be able to tell where your enemies are, and you can gain a ton of information about the map um, just from like listening. So the next thing you want to do is like learn cursor placements. So I'm not talking about the muscle memory that's required um, in order to aim well. I'm just merely talking about where you want to put the cursor. So I don't want my cursor to be like here, because no one's going to come from there logically. They're not going to come from the floor either. They're going to be coming from like alleyways like here and like here. So I kind of want to be like pre-aiming those positions. You know what I mean? So pre-aiming uh, areas where they could potentially come from. Uh, the other thing that you want to do is uh, position your cursor at head level. Headshots do more damage in this game. So if, if I'm positioning at like head level, I'm like one step ahead into, in terms of like landing that headshot. So again, this is not the muscle memory that's required to have good aim. This is just about strategic cursor placements. So after you practice the cursor placement, the next thing that you want to do is like learn how the scoring system works. Um, this doesn't refer to like competition or anything like that, not scrims or tournaments, which play by different rules. Um, this is just how to dominate in public lobbies that utilize the scoring system. And the scoring system is actually really simple. Um, for better or worse, you know, headshots are worth more uh, per kill. So you want to be going for headshots instead of body shots because they're worth like twice as much. There are other things like if you're jumping in the air, you'll get extra points. And if you hit enemies from really far away, you'll get extra points as well. It's not as much of a tip as something to not do. And the reason you don't want to worry about KDR is because if you're worried about KDR, kill death ratio, then you're not going to be focused on improving your mechanics and it's going to be super counterproductive. Um, there's another reason why it's really, really stupid to worry about KDR. You know, Krunker is a free game. So what's stopping someone from just like signing up for a new account like one or two months later and just farming a high kill death ratio? So it's really pointless to care about KDR in this game. The last thing that I want to teach you guys about is going to be like more advanced technique. Um, so after you've like mastered the basics, you've played like, let's say 10 hours in Krunker, you're going to want to actually deliberately practice your aim. Um, one of the reasons why you want to deliberately practice your aim is because unlike other games um, that are more, let's say, tactical, uh, strategy-based, Krunker is really Twitch-based and it requires a lot of aim. It's super aim-intensive. You know, the mechanics are relatively simple. Um, so I'm going to show you a few drills on how to improve your aim. So I'm here now in Kovacs FPS Trainer and I'm going to show you some advanced aiming techniques. Really, there are just two things that you need to know. The first is going to be click timing, and the second is going to be tracking. So if you practice these two skills, then your aim is going to get really good. Um, the tool is only like $5, so it's totally worth it if you're on PC. Um, so some drills for practicing click timing is like the um, pressure aiming, which also like forces you to aim under pressure before these targets hit you. So imagine if you're using like a sniper rifle or like a revolver, um, it's all about like timing the clicks as you move the mouse cursor over your target. So that's the first type of aim that you want to refine. Um, there's various drills that you can do. All right, so now I'm in a scenario called Ascended Tracking V3. And learning how to do tracking is super important if you want to get good at weapons such as like the assault rifle or the SMG 
because it's all about following your target uh, in, a, in a smooth way and being able to quickly react if they change directions like left or right. And what I like about this particular scenario is that it supports aiming down sights. So the skill set translates very well back to Crunker.io. So those are some of the basics of Crunker.io. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, follow me on Twitch.